Johanna here. I want to share experience that I had this last week. I wanted to order curry from one of my favorite curry restaurants in Durban Road in Cape Town and had a bit of a awakening call that wow customer service is really not that good in the city at the moment and really we need to, to up it and I'm going to explain why. To all those restaurant owners or takeaway business owners or anyone that's serving food specifically, you're going to love what I have to say or share with you today. This is my story. I phoned and I had terrible service. It felt like the owner was trying to get me off the phone and she was also being quite negative about the situation, saying that, well, business is very quiet this evening, so we're going to be shutting down a little bit earlier. There's no routine. Restaurants need to have consistency because if I'm going to order there consistently, and business is about consistency, specifically in restaurants and in franchising, uh, when you've got a franchise outlet, you need to have a consistent message that you're sharing with, with uh, potential customers out there. And in this particular case, number one, I didn't even know that, uh, that they were closing early, otherwise I wouldn't have phoned them. But when I phoned them, it felt like she was rushing me. She wasn't polite. She was ending the call quite abruptly. She was almost like, well, just give me your order, please, because we're closing. And what time will you be here? Because we, we're closing soon. And it just, it just didn't feel right. It felt like, you know, I'm departing my hard-earned money to your business because I want your food and I love your food. And I'm happy to be a raving fan of yours. But then treat me and give me the respect I, I, I deserve. Now, they have lost a customer because I won't go and buy there again. It's not like there is a shortage of good restaurants in this town. And I'm going to make an effort to find another restaurant that's going to serve me and my friends and my family, etc. Uh, but I'm going to back up this statement by demonstrating what potential loss in revenue this specific restaurant owner uh, had caused or um, the, the, her acts had, had somehow made me not want to go buy it again and she is going to lose revenue and i'm going to demonstrate with you so follow me and let me show you a potential revenue that this lady has lost so let's continue on the restaurant saga where i bought this curry and now i'm not going to spend any more money at this restaurant because i had bad service and i wasn't treated and respected respected well so let's use this as a case study and an example say for instance i spend $15 on average, so that's $15 per transaction at this specific restaurant. I spend that $15 twice a month. So every second week I'm going there to buy curry or I'm ordering curry for collection. Some, some months it might be every week for, for three weeks. So we're averaging it out over 12 months. Let's say an average of twice a month that I spend $15 per transaction. That makes it $30 a month. Let's say hypothetically I spend that over 12 months times by 12. And that would be $360. $360 that I spend over a period of 12 months. We all know those who are in restaurants and those who manage uh, fast food takeouts or quick service restaurants, if we're in franchising or restaurants, they operate between a GP of about 60 to 70 percent. So let's take an example of 65 percent, a nice in-between figure, so 65 percent. And if my math serves me correctly, that should be in the vicinity of about 216 dollars. 216 dollars that we spend the period of a year at this specific restaurant that they're going to lose out on. That's over a period of 12 months. But let's say the client average is three years with a specific restaurant like this. So therefore, if my maths has it correct, it should be $648 over three years. And that equates for those South Africans equates to six thousand and forty-eight rand over a period of three years that that specific restaurant lost out on because they were insensitive to me as a client. 
So the moral of the story is we never know what the long-term ramifications are going to be if we are not tuned in to our customers' needs. Number one, don't tell me that your restaurant is quiet and you're closing earlier. That's sending out the wrong message. And usually they are quite busy. But I mean, where's the consistency there? That's number one. I want to know if I phone that restaurant for my usual order, I'm going to, I'm going to get it. That's number one. Number two, be sensitive to the client's needs. Understand that your client has had a rough day and I'm going to be spending far more money there and referring far more people there if they treat me with respect. But now I'm going to go out and go and tell people about the bad service I had there. And especially with websites on there where we can write reviews, potential leads and clients can be lost and we never know why our business has just dropped. And I can tell you, this is the background of what happens when business owners start losing clients. So we hope you enjoyed this. And of course, most importantly, we want to hear your comments because you might have had a similar experience. And please share it with us because our community wants to hear from you. Secondly, if you feel that this is going to benefit some business owner, family member, friend, share this with them. Go out of your way to share this with them. Because you see, we don't realize what really goes on behind the scenes. We're too busy growing our businesses. And it's important for us sometimes to stand back and look at what potentially happens behind the scene. Because they've lost me as a client. If I tell three more people, it could, could amount to quite a bit more revenue. And then lastly, if you loved what you heard today, subscribe to this blog, blog and I look forward to hearing from you and speaking to you and, and connecting with you in the next video.